Welcome to Disneyland! Not quite. Welcome to the Best Western Plus Anaheim Inn. I am just finished up my business trip. I packed away my blazer, put on my Ariel and Eric sweatshirt that you can see here, hiding those pounds acquired over the last couple of days, and I am going to head into the park. Check out this room though. I've never stayed somewhere that seems quite so 70s, but I'm here for the location, not for the like plush luxury. I got my ticket at the front desk, so I don't have to worry about getting that. And I am so excited. It doesn't really feel real that I'm here right now. We were driving in, I couldn't really capture anything because it's like, you don't even know you're getting here. It's not like Florida where there's like 80 warnings that you're at Disney World and then you're here. Here it's like, surprise, you're here. So I saw the back of Tower of Terror. I hope you guys are excited. In case you haven't watched me before, my sister and I vlog every weekend and we vlogged our Disney World trips together. Hillary can't be here this time. Hillary, this vlog is for everyone else, but it is for us especially. And like the people who really like know us and that includes you guys who come along with us everywhere. And I'm so excited and I'm so glad you guys are coming along with me because I'm alone here and that's like kind of weird. Some people wanted to do a meetup but I couldn't commit to it because of work, but oh, now I'm off work and I'm getting ready to go to Disneyland for the first time ever. I'll be keeping an eye out for things that are different from Disney World for sure, because that's what I'm used to. I'm just gonna FaceTime Hillary, give her a look at the room, check in, and I'll like let you guys say hi to her. <gasps> Connecting! Heel! Working out. No, stop though. Get a load of this. Look at this room though. Oh my god, it looks like Pop Century though. Doesn't it look like the 70s? Are you with Pop Century? No. I'm this isn't owned by Disney. It's like a best western. Hello though. I know. It's very like intense. Say hello to everyone. Hi though. Bye though. I wish you were here. Love you, bye though. Hillary had to like bounce early. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go online to touringplans.com because that's where I like figure out how I'm gonna tour Walt Disney World and try to get like a sense of the order I wanna do things in. This is like the least, I have, I can't remember ever going to Disney World not having a plan like written down before I got there. So this is gonna be a new kind of experience for me. We'll just see how it goes. This is just the area outside the hotel and it is really busy right now. There's a half marathon going on, so yeah. So I just realized my hotel is like right behind me and the parks are like just across there. I can see like the tippy top of Space Mountain. I'm so close. So you know how at Disney World, there are like the place where you wait for buses and they're for, oh my gosh, I hear music. I hear the music. Anyway, they have that here, but for like shuttles for resorts all over the hotel. I can't believe this is happening. I can't wait to like see the castle. You only get to have these like first time things once and I can't believe I'm getting to do that today. This morning I was in a regular business meeting and now I'm here, it's so weird. <gasps> Monorail sighting, yay. Guys, this is nuts. You can see California Adventure is here and then Disneyland, not to make you dizzy, is right here. They're so close together. I'm so excited. Um, train station though. They take your picture here so that they can like associate your face with your ticket. There's no thumb scanning, which the germaphobe in me really enjoys. Yay! The sign. Whoa. Whoa. It's goofy. Oh my gosh, it's Cruella de Vil. Whoa. Um, I actually just fell over. Look at these decorations. This is nuts. Okay guys, I've made the decision to like, not worry about looking like a crazy person vlogging, because there are for sure people staring at me. But this is just how it's gonna be. We're here in this together, so like, Promise me if you ever see anyone doing this in public, you'll be nice to them. Okay, we're coming up on the castle. I'm seeing it. <gasps> there it is. It's little just like everyone says. Oh my gosh. I've read so much about this, about like all the signs and windows meaning things. And it's like, now I'm here for like, for real. For real. The Dapper Dance. Let them 
show us the ropes? <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am just waiting in front of the Esmeralda the fortune telling machine in the candy shop. I'm so excited to try this. I've seen it, I've never done it. 25 cents. Hey, girl. Huh? You are slow to get excited and slow to calm down, and you will harbor a grudge for a long time. Jeez. You know, I'm just gonna snap a photo of this and share it later, but pretty exciting. I think the first thing I'm going to do is try to get a fast pass or maybe even single rider Indiana Jones. So I'm going to go to Adventureland, which is this way. Everything is the same as Disney World, but way, way smaller. Like that's so little. There's the Matterhorn. I'm bummed because the Matterhorn's closed right now. And then you can see the castle. And it's like two stories high. But that's gonna be the last thing I say about things here being smaller, because I know people do that and it's annoying, but I'm just trying to like capture my thoughts though. Okay, now I promise for real, this is the last thing I'll say about it being smaller, but it's like Adventureland. Frontierland. Fantasyland. They're all like right close together. It's awesome. Um, Hillary, it's one of your favorites. Genie though. Where is Indiana Jones? This is so uncanny. It's like familiar, but not. There's no like, there's no music piping over everywhere. Um, advantages of being alone in the world though. It's spooky in here. One week later and still no Indiana Jones. Could Jones himself have locked eyes with the idol? Or will he solve the riddle of the lost tourists? When and if he does, I on the globe will be there. so elaborate and like huge and cool. It felt like Pirates of the Caribbean where the set is just enormous. That was so much fun. Hillary is going to love this when we come back one day. Oh my gosh, it opens up to its eye. Um, I need to eat something before I become the worst version of myself. Luckily there's like no one around to have to put up with it. I see Haunted Mansion which was supposed to be closed and now it looks like it might be open. If that's Haunted Mansion. Which it might be, I'm not totally sure. This is so disorienting. Oh, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. Look at New Orleans Square. Look at this. I haven't been to the French Quarter, but based on like photos I've seen, this looks pretty legit. This feels so intimate. I love it. Um, just gonna look for the entrance to Club 33, the members only club where you can go and actually get a drink at Disneyland. You can't anywhere else. You can in California Adventure, but not Disneyland proper. Oh, here it is. It's like super exclusive, so I can go inside, but if I did want to go inside or if I really wanted to be a pain, I could ring a little bell right here. And they buzz me up for like a luxury meal and drink. I just stopped it at the French market. There was a band playing there a second ago, so hopefully they'll come back out. But if not, who cares? Because I got this delicious beef stew in a fresh sourdough boule with Diet Cake. Haunted Mansion is closed, so I'm not going, but it looks very different. I like it. Gothic. Um, what do you guys think? Is this a good look for me? Like, bridal ghost though? These Sally Minis are so cute. Whoa though. Awesome. There's like a bunch of merchandise here that I have not seen before. This is exciting. Splash Mountain. I can't remember if I read this on the internet or if I made it up in my own mind, but I think I read something about how if you go at night, they turn the splash down because people don't want to get cold at night. It's like, maybe if I hold out, I won't get so wet. Whoa, you know you're in California when they're serving mango slices and hummus at Disney. Guys, I'm lost and it feels new and strange and a little bit wonderful. Question, once you've seen this, is there another option even? I have seen these storybook man boats so many times in other people's vlogs. And here they are. They're so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna ride this right now. It's kind of cool being on like, your own schedule. I just ate, so I don't wanna ride anything crazy, but options though. Oh my gosh, here's little Nemo boats. I can't remember which one of you told me not to do these, but 
Noted. I want to be fair, you didn't say not to do them. You said not to do them if there was a huge wait, so we shall see. I see it up ahead, Space Mountain. All right, guys, I have a fast pass return time of 10.45 at night. I have like four hours, no, five hours until then. So I'm gonna ride the monorail for the first time ever here and like just do some stuff that's a little bit more low-key. To those of you who have just joined us, welcome aboard the Disneyland monorail. For your safety, please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the cabin. This is Tomorrowland, a land inspired by science fact and fantasy. Below us is the Submarine Lagoon, where you can dive into a fantastic underwater adventure aboard the Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. Across the way are the icy peaks of Matterhorn Mountain, home of the world's most famous bobsled run. Alright, the line seems to be short, so I'm gonna give this Nemo ride a try. The weather is finally clearing up and it's getting pretty. I hope this is cool. I've heard it's pretty claustrophobic. We're actually moving down. This is really cool. This is Nemo. Our destination today is quite extraordinary. A newly erupting deep water volcano. Surrounds us is a biological community that thrives in warm, shallow waters. It usually takes more than a year for a coral to grow only one inch. An amazing fact when you consider that Australia's Great Barrier Reef stretches over 2,000 kilometres. like I have the perfect amount of time to go on. It's a small world. It's all like outdoors and stuff. It looks really cute. Mm -hmm. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And please watch your children. Thank you. Welcome. I love Mary Blair's artwork and set design. That was very sweet. Anyway, I'm going to go and get my next fast pass, I think for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. 
and yeah, stay out of the way of the parade so I can get more seen today. That was really, very sweet. I love how they have the Disney characters. I just finished having the tastiest mint julep and beignet. And now I am going to go maybe to Pirates of the Caribbean. We'll see how long the line is. Starting to like fade a little bit. So Pirates is out, it's broken. Big Thunder Mountain is broken. Matterhorn is not open. Um, yeah, there's a lot that's just like under construction or down right now. So it's gonna be a walking around kind of an evening. All right guys, I am overwhelmed at the thought of waiting in lines. So let's do some shopping, shall we? Let's just like see what's new on Main Street. This would be paradise for Hillary because it's all mugs. This is precious. It says, Midnight never strikes when you are in love. I love pastels. These are cute socks. These just look super comfy. <laughs> Sweats. That's cute too. Classic. Oh my gosh, Hillary, the purse. It looks like the purse. Um, guys, I finally fulfilled my like lifelong dream of getting white ears. And guess what I did? I got the bride ears and I cut off the veil. Because I'm not a bride, but I love white and I deserve to have options. So I feel really good about this. It was actually like kind of oddly empowering to just cut the veil off. Where it's like, you gotta tell me I can only have this color if I'm a bride. Anyway, just like shopping on Main Street, picked up some goodies, a little something for Hillary. So she'll be thrilled. The castle's so pretty. I saw her. Yes, girl. This is where the real shopping is. Guys, can I be the kind of woman who wears an anklet? Mickey's Toontown, which used to exist at Disney World, but doesn't anymore. I'm hoping to ride Roger's Toontown, Roger Rabbit spin? I don't know. It's so weird to be here and not like know everything. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a I want my broken bag! Go weasels! Go weasels! <laughs> that was awesome. I'm gonna go try and catch some fireworks. Yay! Oh, it is a motorboat. Oh, so sorry. We welcome to our journey to the Storybook Land. My name is Brian, and I'll be your captain and storyteller tonight aboard. Where am I? Oh, yeah, Fauna. <laughs> <laughs> now, most adventurers travel to enchanted worlds in the pages of a book, but those who venture in person, whether down a rabbit hole or sprinkle the little pixie dust, often find a way to be magical. Or nothing. He's always after those three little pigs who luckily live across the way in those three houses. One made of straw, one made of sticks, oh, and one made of 100% guaranteed wolf fruit bread. <laughs> Love shines bright, like in the twinkling lights in the archways above. Those same twinkling lights for which Aladdin and Jasmine soared over, sideways, and under, on their magic carpet ride to a whole new world. Do not start. <laughs> Snow White wished for a safe place when she fled from the Eagle Queen and came upon this cozy forest cottage on our right. Why is the home of our seven dwarfs so often a shelter in exchange for her kindness? You might even see their mind and hear them whistle, walk away. Cinderella. Now, wishes are a powerful part of storybooks, and while magic does have its limits, thankfully, love does not. And now Cinderella and her Prince Charming live atop of the hill in their peak and gold castle. Alice atop the North Mountain, and her castle. sister Anna refused to let her go. That act of true love helps save the boat and shows that family can weather even the harshest of snowstorms, allowing Anna to ask the question once again, do you just want to build a snowman? Oh, <laughs> Does it want to be a snowman? 
Your boyfriend is a gem if he will wear your sparkle backpack when you get tired. Guys, I didn't know if I would like that, but I loved it. That uh, guy, Brian, was awesome. So thanks, Brian. Carousel. Mama needs to stretch out her hip flexors and do something with a 10 minute wait. Aw, uh, I really miss you, Hillary. I know you're gonna be watching this. I miss you. This is always like a sister ride for me, but I'm thinking about you, girl. My battery's going to die, so I'm just gonna say goodnight to you guys now, just in case, and throw this in later if I need to. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.